Can your reader access the sources you cite in your assignment? If not, you need to cite them as personal communication in your text. Personal communications are not included in your reference list. Let's say you want to use an organisation's internal guideline or policy. You might be an employee and have access to this information, but your reader does not. So you cite the information like this. In your text you can refer to the kind of document it is and in the citation include the author's name. In this case it's an organisation followed by the words personal communication and the date you access the document. The same applies for verbal sources such as conversations and interviews. Here's an example. Other examples of personal communication are emails, private social media and unpublished photos. But what about lecture materials? Because your reader in most cases is your lecturer, marker or classmates, these sources are not considered personal communication. Cite and reference them according to the type of source. Learn line modules, discussion board, handouts, PowerPoint slides. So just remember, if the reader cannot access the source, it's personal communication and it doesn't go in your reference list. For more examples, consult the CDU Harvard Referencing Guide.